Hello everyone, I'm back with a new topic today. I hope you are liking my previous topic also. And uh, I request you to subscribe my channel to more people, your friends. You can also kill them to your friends, and the youngsters who are also doing engineering and who are interested in learning tuition stella. So, uh, let's start up with the next topic today. We're going to see how to create array structure. Okay, so as we have seen DB, so DB also we have seen in our last classes, right? So, here you can see I'm having uh, a shared DB here. In this, suppose if I want to create array. Right. So what is array? Array means group of similar data types. Means uh, here you can see your hang on data type that is your boolean. Right. So it is uh, created separately, right? For star stop. But for boolean, <coughs> uh, a similar data type, I want to create a list of an array. Okay. So for boolean, I think we cannot create. But if I'm having any other data type like word, byte, word, integer, double integer, real, okay, for this, I can create a list of data type. So if you see that uh, data types, okay, that is coming under complex types. Complex type, if you see here, you can see date and time, string, array, structure, unity, right? So here, suppose if I have some temperature values or pressure values, which are in some range, like uh, 10 temperature values, temperature 1 to temperature 10, or if I have pressure 1 to pressure 10, or if I have flow 1 to flow 10, speed 1 to speed 10, if I'm having many motors, right? So for that, I cannot uh, like uh, create each and every data here uh, with a single entry, right? So what we can do, like if I'm having speed, I mean just speed, Italian, right click, complex type, that is an array. Under this array, you can enter the range like one, zero, zero. One, zero, zero. Suppose if I have 10 speed values, I'll select this 10 times. Let's say I'm there. Okay, let's give the data type like if I have. Elementary type like if I want integer or double integer or real, okay. In one of these, you can select, for example, I'm like, simply if I have like a pressure, similarly, if I have pressure, RM, and dot, dot, some L, okay. And I want to take it as real, but then it as real. Here you can see it directly multiplying the range of array, the length of the array. Each parameter like speed 1 to speed 10 it will take. Okay. For pressure 1 to pressure 10 it will take. So here from what is the starting byte number? Okay, it is a real, so it takes 4 bytes each. Whereas for integer, it takes 2 bytes each. Right? So it is showing the range of the next uh, how many bytes it has taken. So what will be the next? Byte number for the another parameter. Now, suppose, suppose uh, if I want to create structure. So, what is a structure? Structure means group of different data types or dissimilar data types. Okay. Array means group of similar data types or same data type, whereas structure is a Group of dissimilar data type or different data types. Okay. For example, like if I have uh, <coughs> some more uh, process structure I want to create, like structure one, or you can say structure for machine one. Okay. So I click here, complex type, start. So you can see. Start and distance. That means 
Here you can see step and step already is available here, which is also on structure. Okay, which is having a group of dissimilar data type. You can see star, stop, speed, pressure is already a different data types, right? So which is a group. So we call that a structure also. If I want to create a separate structure, okay, like for machine one, I'm having some structure for storing data like for temperature, for pressure, for machine one, machine two, machine three. Okay, so for different machines, okay, I can create different structure. Okay, in like it might be having some bit order. It may be a star stop or something, okay? Like it's a goal. Then if I have some flow, one, that's the flow, two, three, okay? Or, uh, so this also, I think it's speed. One something and so something else. This way you can create different structure okay, for different machines. Okay, structure one, structure two, structure three. Okay, for machine one, two, three, like that, you can create a different structure. So, in the same block DB, I can create arrays and structure. So, instead of typing the name, 100 times, okay, it's how many times it is required, okay? So let's do it 10 times, pressure 10 times, temperature 10 times, like that if you have to enter all these parameters, right? So manually it takes more time. So if you're having a similar data type, it makes it easier, okay? Within this structure also, you can create array, okay? Like for flow, I want to create an array. Like one, Dot dot some five values I want. Fill it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Like this, I can create another array within a section. Okay. So this is how we create this data type. So um, save this and I just create this one. And open only one. And let's see how to call this addresses. Okay. So how to call the array address? So I take uh, some add in section in here and one real in section like R R. Okay, add underscore i, add underscore r. Now, <clears throat> here I just type like a scala. Okay, that name we have to write this db1. If I expand this, you can see scala speed. Or when I expand this, it's showing another array structure in the structure of the operator. Right, so I select this scatter speed. The structure is thinking uh, but in this version it is showing some problem because uh, it is not directly taking that array address. So what you can do is you can share this, you can uh, <clears throat> Download it and monitor it. So, we'll show the extended, extended format here. Speed 1 to speed 10. Okay. You can see the byte numbers here for your speed. 
first which one was the byte number here two right which is the integer format so your addressing will be db1 dot dbw2 okay so you could call this one slide manual you have to enter here db1 dot dbw2 okay so you can just copy and paste it here and you can change the number okay. for calling this address again you have to check this uh, db once Share it is 22, right? So I will select the address here. Mm -hmm. one dot db d 22 because the double one. You can see pressure on speed one, speed two, speed three, right? So here also you can see you need to copy this one. This is here. Let's change the number. Following this address directly, it is showing some error here. Okay. But uh, maybe uh, upgraded option is going to be recovered. With my version, performance it is showing this error. So I have to check this manually and then I have to enter the first address and then you can copy and paste and then change the uh, number here, okay? <clears throat> now, to call that uh, structure address, if I take this integer add, you can see already it was calling, right? So, double click, so that automatically take the address. Okay. In some other memory, somewhere I want this. So like this, you can call this uh, array and structure addresses. Okay, and I'll just execute this once. Work plan here because I want to download all this box I mean. S S S you can model here and you can modify your values here also. Let's do something. So you can see the result. And also it is a real value. So I will then find six seven eight something. So like this small line, right click, modify. Okay. Similarly here also. If I modify some value like any value. For example, I'm saying here. Now, if these values I want to check in DB, you can open that DB1 and you can go online here, monitor, where you can see the actual value results here, right? Okay, so this is how we can create the array and structure. And you can call this address. <coughs> In your logic, okay. So it is like uh, I don't want to like uh, <clears throat> remember which address I'm using. Right? M address, which is a very low memory, okay. Which is in terms of bits only. 
it is like uh, 048 base, 16,000 base, and some peer should be present. But DB is a two terms of the bytes, which is a using memory. So here I can simply create one structure and you can see, uh, you know, need to remember what address you are using. Okay? You can simply type the name, parameter name, and you can directly call the address. Okay, just like we are seeing this uh, example. That's why it is very helpful and um, <clears throat> easy to create your logics. Okay, so you need to think about which uh, next byte number I have to take. Right, which is available and W2 and W4 and DC is something you are using so that I no need to remember. Right, so here when you are creating this uh, structure or array, it will automatically divide these addresses here. Okay, it is very helpful. Now, one more thing is we are seeing when we are having UDT. Here UDT stands for user data type. User data type means here uh, in FC or FB we are seeing like using parameter you can create uh, logic one time and you can call that multiple times. That means here also if I am having some uh, similar data type structure or uh, any machine like if I have ten similar identical machines, but I don't I don't want to create the uh, structure again and again. The same structure I want to use. Okay, the same structure I want to use. Okay, so like that, you can create a single uh, <coughs> UBT. Okay, using the user like that, you can create one single format and then structure, structure format, sorry, and you can call that multiple times. Okay, so how to create that? First, we need to go to Semantic manager, right click here, insert new object, you can see data file. This is one, okay, this is your user data type one, two, three, four, like that, you can create many data, okay, like for Python machines. Python machines, okay. If I'm having five or six packing machines, so your data type structure will be similar, right? So you can uh, simply create this formula, okay, one time, and you can call that in your DB multiple times. So we, we are also use like the same DB also. Like uh, for example, I'm creating start boolean start. Okay. You can create a uh, array also, or structure also, okay, in this UDT. There's no restriction. Okay. And then like uh, <coughs> level something, level one. Like, uh, no, margins. I think one, 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 Name will be UDT or only, but it may have to be a symbolic name, right? When you are creating this. Now I close this, then I go to DB1 or any DB1 which I created. After this structure, I want to call this uh, UDT. So, like if I have machine one, so I click here, complex type UDT. Okay, so select UDT number. One. Okay. Let's see. Okay, if you have created another UDT structure type, 
ठीक है फॉर मशीन टू ठीक है और नॉन टू पॉलिस से मिल गई थी मिल गई वन ठीक है मशीन टू आल्सो वी कैन कॉल द सेम स्ट्रक्चर ठीक है यू कैन सी दिस टेकिंग डिफरेंट मेमोरीज हियर फॉर डिफरेंट मशीन ओके यू कैन कॉल मशीन वन स्टार्ट स्टॉप Right, temperature one two three, level one two three, flow one two ten. Similarly, machine two, right? That is showing all the machines. Right, okay, one two three. All this data will come over here, and you can after calling this into this DB, you need to call this address in your logic. Okay, for that I will have to open your OB one. Actually, I just I want to call. Here I will take. Uh, okay, I will take one more. Add and one more as well. I simply take the middle section. I will take this one. Similarly, scan. Here you can see scan dot machine one, machine two, machine three. Here is shown. Then expand this. You can select the tag. It will automatically take the addresses. Okay. <clears throat> so this is how it makes easier for you or to make any logic or assign any addresses. Okay. <clears throat> डिस्प्ले That result, if you want to check, you can check this in DB one, not in UDP. DB one, because DB UDP is one structure. Okay, what we have created, and that structure one time we have created, and we are calling this in the DB memory, and multiple times we can call this. Okay, and here you can check the result. Okay. Machine one, level one, level two. I am moving it right? from level one to level three. I am moving the value. Okay, this is another reason. Okay, so this is about array structure and UDP. So this is with this uh, today's topic. I will upload more topics one by one slowly. So please uh, subscribe my channel and. If you like my topics and my uh, explanations, please give a like and share with more people. With your friends also who are interested to learn. Okay, thank you very much.